In a workshop, the most important thing is to fascinate the participants. Robotics is going to invade the field of technological practices and production. We're right at the beginning of this transformation. The team of the mentors and the professors were one of the best things about this atelier. We got to hear um, the ethical context, we got to hear about robotics and architecture, we got to hear about social robotics. One of the most difficult things is to imagine how robots and humans will coexist. We will evolve together in a collaborative way, in a more reciprocal way. I think the great things about the, the seminars and this week's workshop has been the focus on the interdisciplinarity. One thing I learned was the potential for robotics to be employed in all kinds of different ways in different regions. So the Robotic Atelier uh, 2018 was carried out with industrial generic robots. We had three groups, three robots, three materials. Sand, clay and earth. And asked them to experiment in a box. The architectural goal was to think of techniques that would allow to produce complex form in a very, very efficient way. Our group chose clay. It was a very interesting substance because um, it was easily moldable into 3D shapes. Conceptually, we were thinking about metal joints for spatial structures uh, and spatial frames. I was working with sand, which is a very ma hard material to control and to shape. What we've been looking at is finding ways of applying robotic fabrication technologies to gain control of such materials. What's happening right now is that architecture is uh, maturing into these kinds of questions. We use the earth as a temporary formwork. We try to reimagine a new type of landscape which is completely sustainably recreated without any formwork. So I sort of step back and let the, my artistic side flow in. We point here and it's going there, so it's actually very really fun. The technologies are spreading in an exponential way. AR is the single most transformative element of our age. It'll change the way that we build buildings, it'll change the way that we move around cities. Understanding ourselves as the maker of the machine is, uh, is an important part of, of this uh, field. The robot is going to meet the machine intelligence. We're going to live more and more surrounded by non-human forms of intelligence. How long before Homo sapiens becomes obsolete as species? We were able not only to hear from amazing people that were totally inspiring, but also to get our hands dirty and to work with the robot. I'm convinced that this environment stimulates cooperation. Really does employ a certain inspiration. At the end of a workshop you are surprised by what the participants uh, finally achieve. I think that what I've learned mostly is how to think differently. I really wish that through technology, through robotics, I can make Mexico a better place. And we succeeded to have them leave and say I learned a lot. Any advice to the young? Be curious, experiment, get your hands dirty. Sense of humor, curiosity, Think faster and fast. Be prepared to be very surprised. Quit emulating the old. <laughs> <laughs>